What is thing? <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is Friday. It is the weekend and that means we have three full days to work on all small business things. If you don't know, my name is Monica. I own a small business called Monica's. I make handmade apparel, candles, home goods, accessories, all of which are sustainable and ethically made. I do work a full-time job so the weekends are really my time to just focus on my small business and create inventory, do pop-ups, go shopping for materials, etc. So this weekend is no different, but I thought I'd take you along this time and show you my process. This Sunday I have a pop-up, today I have to go fabric shopping. It's gonna be a whole weekend filled with very exciting small business things. It's Friday, so I'm working a half day today, and then once I log off, I'm going right into New York City to go to the fashion district and go shopping for some fabric that I need for upcoming projects. Very excited for that. I always love going to the fashion district. So once I'm finished with work, I will pick this back up and see you in New York City. We are here in the fashion district right now. It feels so good to be in New York City. I hope you can hear any of this audio because I don't have a mic for this camera yet, so I'm working on that. I'm here at the big button the little iconic area of the fashion district. Currently making a plan on where to go. I wanna hit the main spots, B&J Fabrics, Mood Fabrics, the Pacific Trim & Co, I think it's called. I'm trying to get a few things that I wrote down that I need to get, also browse around a little bit. All right, let's get going. Also, look at me trying to vlog in public and not die of embarrassment. <laughs> um, we're trying here. these three I got a little focus three different tinsel fabrics and these three colors stuff that I need for my corsets. I'm back. Quick little haul. I went to Mood Fabrics, B&J Fabrics, a couple trim stores. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's basically like tweed or it looks like tweed. And this is the color scheme I'm going for for my spring collection, summer collection. I think I'm going to mix them into one giant collection. But yeah, pink, green, and blue. So I think I'm going to make something cool out of that. I'm still deciding exactly what it'll be. Going along with that same color scheme, I got this, I think it's cotton, dead stock cotton. It's just like a floral pattern. Dead stock, different kind of floral. Very pretty. And last dead stock item this green floral. All these are from Mood Fabrics. I also needed to restock on some of the black ribbed material that I had from my winter collection because I did get a couple orders randomly for the black midi dress that I had in my winter collection. And it's boring, but I got some Oeco, o Oeco Tech 
certified fabric. <laughs> this is just for lining for some of my corsets. And I got some pretty threads. Look how nice. All right, that was all from Mood, from B&J. Three of the same thing, basically. These are all tensile. I briefly described what they were in one of my previous videos, but they're made from wood pulp, basically. It's a sustainable way to make fabric. So I got this, like, neutral pink, like, muted pink-orange color. Then I got an olive green and this natural color. I have a few ideas for those. I'm thinking about making me and my friend an outfit for a very exciting event that we are going to. Oh, and I do want to show you some of these cool accessory type things that I got. Look at this thing. <laughs> this reminds me of the Gucci bags with the little bamboo holder. Obviously, this is not real bamboo. I'm pretty sure it's plastic or some sort of cheaper wood. Thinking about making a little purse for myself with my scrap fabrics, make some sort of like zero waste purse. That would be nice. Yeah, other than that, I just got some little things like ribbon and got this little like chain type thing for a dress. Lots and lots of bias tape because I love using bias tape and it's so simple and easy to use and a very fast way to finish off any sort of garment. Underwire. You know, like. <laughs> I think I want to try to make some bathing suits for the summer. I was thinking of using underwire for some of them. I don't know if these are waterproof. I probably should have checked. But if not, I can also make those Boussier midi, like, maxi skirts with, like, a cool Boussier top. to celebrate a Friday night and the end of a successful week with some candle making. I got in these new scents from Makesy, formerly known as Wood & Wick Co, which I love. I've had these Aura vessels from Wood & Wick Co for a long time now. I think the first time I ordered for them was early last year. These two are new and I also got another new color that I haven't taken out yet. Also new are these fragrances. I got Cashmere Vanilla, Lime Sangria, and Guava Blossoms. This one I am most excited about. Blanc, Citrine, and Matcha Verde. Like, how freaking cool. I'm a big matcha person, so this is going to be exciting. Tropicana Tea Rose and Papyrus Goji Berry and Hemp. This is actually not my favorite scent in the world, but I've been learning to create candles and even apparel in styles that I personally don't like, knowing that other people might like it just because, I mean, I shouldn't only make things that I personally like because I'm not only making things for myself now, I am making things for you all, so. I heard you guys like hemp, so. Here it is. And Buddha Bamboo and Violet Sage. This one's really good. Hmm. So I need to decide what scents are going into what vessels, which ones I want to save for a later time. Like cashmere and vanilla kind of sounds like a fall scent to me. It's not really like a spring summery thing, so I might save that for later. Lime and green guava blossoms definitely sounds like we need to use that today. Matcha we are using today. See, now how do I decide? I should do the bamboo and violet sage one because it's a little different. I feel like these 
other ones are all very like fruity and sweet. I guess I can do goji berry and hemp. I'm gonna decide what's gonna go into which vessel and then we're going to get cooking with all of the soy wax and it's gonna be great. making is so fun like I would still make all of these candles even if I wasn't selling them just because of how therapeutic the process is like I love putting all the wax in and measuring out the fragrances and eventually pouring them into the vessels like it's so fun for me and just to see how they all come out depending on what types of dyes and fragrances and different decor that I put into the candle and seeing like how they all come out different is so fun for me You'd also be surprised how much math goes into this and how much I have to like measure out different things. I did really bad in chemistry in school and I didn't enjoy it at all. So this is kind of exciting for me to actually get into like measuring and like beakers and ow, the hot wax just like, ow, it's like burning me. Stop it. All right, I think it's time to stop talking and pour this now. Good morning, it is the next day. It's Saturday. Today is a day full of sewing and candle making. I can't believe how calm I feel for my pop-up tomorrow because I have so much inventory already made from previous pop-ups. I've just been slowly making things every single day to build up to having like a good stock of inventory. It's now the day before a big pop-up and I don't feel stressed at all. A very good feeling. <laughs> the pop-up I'm doing tomorrow is the one in Hoboken under the viaduct. Uh, you might have seen my video. I will put the little thingy here. It's the one that didn't really go too well because of how cold it was outside and I ended up leaving early along with most other vendors and not that many people rocking by. But I feel good about this one. I have high hopes. Last night I tested out a bunch of the new candle scents and some of the new Aura vessels and I love them. They smell so good. They came out so well. I do need to burn test a couple of them but otherwise they are good to go for tomorrow. I also need to make new like tags for them or like stickers to you know tell people what kind of scents are in each of the candles. I need to get that done today. I also want to sew a bit. I have a couple new design ideas that I might want to test out with some floral patterns that I got yesterday at Mood Fabrics. It is noon at this point because I did go to the gym and had a late start this morning but I am excited to get started so let's just do it.
testing this aura jar because I accidentally made the wick out of place and it's not centered at all. So I figured this would be a good one to test the burn on. Basically, whenever I use a new fragrance or a different container, I always like to burn test and see how the scent throw is, meaning how strong the scent is while it's burning, and also how the actual burn shape is because I don't want the little flame to be too big. I also don't want it to unlight every five seconds because I have made candles that do that. I'm trying to avoid that. So I think this one's good. It's burning pretty well. It's creating a little pool of melted wax and if the wick were centered it would be perfect but mistakes happen. I just finished three different tops for the pop-up tomorrow. They're made out of older fabrics from last year actually so these are the last of its kind. I'm really glad I got those done just so I have some newer pieces at the pop-up tomorrow. Really excited to have these candles. They're all like behind me right now. Just setting. I need to chop the wicks and add the little stickers to them. I can't get over how good this candle smells. I haven't added these to my website yet, so depending on how well they do tomorrow, I may need to add them because oh, it smells so good. This one is the Lime Sangria and something else scent. Lime Sangria and Guava Blossoms scent and it smells like Sunday brunch. Maybe I should call it Sunday brunch. We'll see. purchase from Mixi. As I said, all these scents and some of the Aura vessels are new. So with my order, I got this new hat. I know they just rebranded into Mixi. They used to be called Wooden Wood Co. So maybe this helped promo that. Love Mixi. They have some of my favorite stuff and it's all very aesthetic. It's all very sustainable, eco-friendly. They have so many different options, colors, scents, everything. I love them. Here's what we got going on. I redid some of these candles. Not that many, but just a few. It's taking a long time, so I only did a few. This one I really wanted to get done because I want a yin and yang one. These brown ones didn't come out the color I wanted them to, so I might not have those. And I wanted one cupid, so there's that. I am going to cut these wicks right now and also print out the little tags for them. This is what I'm thinking. I think this looks really cool. So like this first one is going to be for this jar and that's like kind of the color that this is and then i'll have a green tag with the scent name on it and like a little description i think that could look really cool and then same with all these they correspond to the candle jars here i really hope these sell because these are a little bit more expensive and i find that at pop-ups it's kind of hit or miss with if people buy like more of my expensive items or just like scrunchies which are my cheapest items so hopefully people are interested in these i really like them i think they came out really good so hopefully people like them
Just friends.